Well, how you doing? It's Mr. DJ back on the Sock Hop channel. I'm going back to the Sock Hop years of the 50s and early 60s. And I'm going to try to get in a couple from 1959 tonight. Hope I get one in from 1960 and 61, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Of course, you notice I'm a little bit tanned. It's uh, late April here in Tuscaloosa. Boy, that sun was beating down this afternoon. Got up to about 85 degrees here in Alabama. Oh, boy. In April. <laughs> oh, gosh. Some are just a eyelash away. Uh, well, that's not a proper term, but you get the point. It's coming very soon. It's already here for all practical purposes. Let's go to Billboard's Hot 100 of... of, of, of uh, 1959, April 25th, 1959, going back about, gosh, about 57, 58 years ago. And uh, let me give you some of the top 10 hits from that week. Oh, one of my favorite songs from that week. It's Late by Ricky Nelson. Rocking Ricky Nelson at number 10. And uh, we got Tragedy by Thomas Wayne and the Downlines at number 9. The Fleetwoods record, Just a Matter of Time by Brooke Benton at number 8. Guitar Boogie Shuffle by the Virtues at number 7. And Ricky Nelson, boy, he's kicking it. Kicking it back in 1959 at number 6. Never be anyone else but you. And uh, we got Elvis at number five. Now and then there's a fool such as I. And uh, Need Your Love Tonight by The King at number four. I got to do an Elvis record. It's been, a, been ages since I talked about an Elvis record. But anyway, oh, God, yes. Great novelty record. Paint Shoelaces by Dodie Stevens at number three. Venus by Frankie Avalon at number two. And Come Softly to Me by The Fleetwoods at number one. And going all the way down to number 91 on this uh, Billboard's Hot 100. Oh, yes. We're going to go all the way down to a lost 45. The father of Chris and Rich Robinson of the Black Crows made his chart debut in the spring of 1959. <clears throat> his name was Stan Robinson. Boom, a dip, dip. Some consider this a doo-wop record. I think this is more of a country, More it was more of a country, maybe a little bit more of a rockabilly record, although it got a little bit doo-wop in there. Stan Robinson, his only hit record, Boom, a dip, dip, and not, not long after this song peaked, he went into business. Uh, he was a sales representative in the garment industry. Started a football club, a rugby club called the Atlanta the Atlanta Renegade. He lived in Atlanta, the Atlanta Renegade, and uh, his children, uh, Chris and uh, Chris Robinson, and Rich Robinson of the Black Crows. When they were growing up, Stan Robinson, dad, he opened his record collection wide open. So his sons, and you hear the Black Crow's music, sons were exposed to the blues, gospel rock, rock albums of the 60s, and you could clearly hear that influence in the Black Crow's music. Got that Otis Redding, the soul, the rock and roll, but uh, all helped along by Stan Robinson. But here's the ironic thing. Stan Robinson discouraged his children from pursuing music because it was just, it's a hard business. And there's no guarantee. If you're in the music industry, you know if you're a performer or if you, if you were a performer at one time, there's absolutely no guarantee that you're going to become a big success. But as Rich and Chris Robinson became successful in the Black Crows, he grew more supportive. Stan Robinson grew more supportive of his son's musical endeavors. Although, he did admit he much preferred them to become a doctor or a lawyer. But anyway, let's go back to this record by Stan Robinson. It's at number 91 the week of April 25th, 1959. It peaked at number 83, Lost 45. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for an entire month. But what a jam. Uh, Stan Robinson with Boom a Dip Dip from Billboard's Hot 100 back in the spring of 59. 